from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. We had some awesome rain this morning across the state of Oklahoma. Some areas a lot more, some areas a lot less. With the moisture falling down, the sun coming up, sunrise rainbows across the state. And the pictures that have been coming in have been absolutely gorgeous. Cheyenne sent us this one of the double rainbow at the ball field there in Elk City. Stunning. Another shot of the OSU campus. That's the Edmund Lowe Library right there on the OSU campus in Stillwater. Double rainbow there. Also, just stunning. We love your pictures. You can always send them to us. You can send them to us on social media. Picks at news9.net. Also, a great area as well. Here's how much rain we've seen so far with this system. And you notice in the points in the west, that's the bulk of the rain. One to two inches in our panhandle. Just record setting rain in portions of the panhandle. Also, an inch, inch and a half, inch and three quarters in our far west. Woodward just under a half of an inch, six tenths of an inch in Hobart. And this morning we had showers come in from the south to the north across Oklahoma City, a few one hundredths of an inch. Looking down from space, a little sunshine in southern Oklahoma, all clear in the southeast. We're cloudy in Oklahoma City and you can see where we have convection or thunderstorms trying to billow up in the far west. It's the main energy with the upper level low right now moving from south to north that all works its way to the east tonight and tomorrow morning. Here's your timeline for Oklahoma Oklahoma City. We're dry the rest of the day in the metro. It's after midnight. Rain chances start to bump up and rain looks likely through rush hour and the first part of your morning coming up for your Friday. Winter storm warnings in effect for the panhandle travel advisories for accumulating snow. The rest of it, it's a cold rain and we still got a few showers ongoing. Billings, Ponca City back up to Blackwell. That's going to head up to Brayman and eventually Kansas. Next gen is quiet. No KC. Showers from Thomas to Butler, Cheyenne down 283 and right now this will start to wind down and we're going to be kind of a lull into the afternoon for a while in far western Oklahoma. Rain still ongoing from Byside to Laverne up to Knowles. Again, south to north is the motion. That's going to change. Our Lucky Star Skycam Network live from Integris. Little moisture on top of the building there after the rain this morning. 46 degrees is our current temp. There's some 30s in far western Oklahoma where it's still raining. 59 degrees in Oklahoma City for a high, and we'll see 60s in portions of eastern Oklahoma, 40s for highs in the west. And I do think we see that transition to all snow. We've got snow on the ground right now in our panhandle. We'll continue to add to that into the afternoon, especially this evening, and rain still looks likely for the far west, and eventually that comes across the state. There's the upper level low. When I talk about the main energy coming out with the storm, see how the jet stream winds go from the south to the north right across the panhandle? That whole thing is going to skirt to the east and watch what it does to the precip. Here's future next gen. Two o'clock this afternoon. Still showers in the west as we get to eight, nine o'clock. New showers take off. Line tries to develop. May have a few thunderstorms after midnight with pockets of heavy rain that will continue to make their way across the state, across the metro, ending coming up by Friday evening. And the totals out of this are looking really good. I'll show you in a minute. 100% chance of rain tonight, making a wintry mix for a while from Woodward to Elk City, back over into Ellis County, back over to Arnett and Buffalo. Temperatures should stay above freezing, so right now doesn't look like any travel issues, but we'll watch that closely. 40 for a low here in Oklahoma City tonight, no winter precip. And then tomorrow afternoon, as the low moves overhead, may get some precip from Alva to Woodward. This time it'll be moving from the north to the south. Rain ends in Oklahoma City, and it spreads off to the east. Some areas out near Guymon, all the way over to Beaver, two to four inches, a few bullseyes, close to six inches. Some of the latest data suggests a couple totals, maybe higher than that. Very isolated in nature, a good rain. Half of an inch to an inch of rain in Oklahoma City. One to two in total for the west. When you add up all the rain in far western Oklahoma, some bullseyes of two to four. Tomorrow afternoon, 40s and 50s. Chilly. Saturday, we've got 50s for highs. Sunday, mid 50s, and it looks really nice into next week as well. We'll be tracking the rain, guys, overnight until tomorrow morning. Back to you.